Nurses are always taught that one of their biggest jobs is as an advocate and, and definitely with critical care and once you've been in the field for a couple years, um, it's your job, it's your responsibility to make sure that that patient, that Marine, that family member, that they are getting the best care. That's the integrity that we bring to the table as critical care nurses and as Navy nurses. My name is Lieutenant Dana Flieger. I'm a critical care nurse in the United States Navy. I work at First Medical Battalion Camp Pendleton and my role here right now, I work in S3 training. I'm co-director of the flight program. Um, starting off as a nurse in the military, there's a lot to learn on both ends of it. So I feel like it's, it's helped me develop and push myself in that aspect um, to become better in, as both a nurse and as a leader. We're put in charge of corpsmen, other junior nurses, and we're expected to maintain this high standard um, for them. So I feel like I've, I've grown completely. They give you tasks as just a junior nurse and you're expected to perform. And um, you know, I think that added pressure and, and people looking at you and expecting you to do well, especially the people that you're in charge of, it, it, it makes you realize that you're in a position to make a difference. Um, and, and be a role model for the people that you work with. Uh, my name is Caitlin Workman, Lieutenant Commander, Nurse Corps. So the Navy challenges you. Um, I am a, you know, came from a civilian sector as a nurse, um, and a lot of the nurses I'd worked with had been there for you know, years and years in their same role. Um, but the Navy really pushes you to take on roles that you wouldn't necessarily sign up for or be comfortable with. So as a Navy nurse, I have been a pediatric nurse, a pediatric intensive care nurse, um, outpatient uh, nurse, ambulatory care, same almost. Um, I've done adults, I've done recruitment, medicine, I've been on board ships, um, I've been in helicopters, I've done such a various amount of things which you don't get those opportunities and I think the Navy, it pushes you outside your comfort zone um, and because of that you know you have to rise to the challenge. If you are a critical care nurse and you're assigned to the hospital, you come in, you do your uh, nursing shifts. So for here in the um, Balboa's ICU, we work from 5.45 in the morning to about 6.15 in the evening. Um, or if you're on night shift, you rotate. Uh, we're scheduled about seven shifts every 14 days, um, which is very comparable to civilian sector. Um, but then in addition to that, you've got whatever collateral duties that you're responsible for. And those are more your um, naval officer responsibilities. I'm uh, part of the fleet surgical team. I operate both in the hospital, I'll, I teach classes here, I also work on the floor, and then I'm responsible for the ship. Um, so within the ship we have an inpatient section. We have a uh, 14 bed ICU and um, over 40 beds for inpatient medical surgical. Um, and my job is to make sure that we're ready for any kind of deployment or any kind of missions. So I actually was deployed on the USNS Mercy. I went out in 2010. I worked in pediatrics at the time, um, and it was a great mission. We did a lot of surgical care for patients. Um, as a nurse, we were uh, mainly stationed on the ship, so they would bring the patients to us. We would, um, they would already been screened for surgery, bring them up, they'd be prepped for surgery, send them off to surgery, and then we'd recover and um, care for them in their post-surgical care. My name is Lieutenant Jonathan Tranquillo. Um, I'm a critical care nurse in the U.S. Navy Reserves. So my job in the civilian world uh, is a civilian contractor at Walter Reed. I actually work in the neonatal intensive care unit. So I originally joined the Navy Reserves after coming off of active duty uh, after seven and a half years. I wanted to sort of pursue an avenue that I was still able to um, serve my country but also create more time for my family and also uh, pursue a higher education and I would stay Navy Reserves uh, because of the opportunities that it continues to afford me and also the uh, added benefits that the Navy Reserve uh, affords my family. In 2012, I uh, deployed to the uh, Roll 3 in Kandahar, Afghanistan. Um, we uh, got uh, casualties uh, right from point of injury. They were medevaced us within 15 minutes of actually having the injury, and we were the first people they saw. Uh, it was very rewarding and fulfilling for me uh, to be able to provide care for them, especially in that immediate state, uh, to stabilize them, um, and then to uh, try to get them uh, to definitive surgical care and get them um, home to their families and loved ones. So the uh, Navy is very technologically advanced. We have the latest and greatest of everything, especially when we deploy downrange. Everything that uh, we had when I was deployed at the uh, Roll 3 in Afghanistan was by far uh, equivalent or better to any level one trauma center that you'd see in the United States. The military trauma system, we 
sort of make these advances and then the civilian world kind of catches up 10 years down the line. So my name is uh, Lieutenant Brian Bonzo. I'm a critical care nurse in the United States Navy. To be a successful critical care nurse, you have to always think everything about your patients. Um, what can you do to better um, provide their care and what can go wrong? I was trying to think at least two things that can go wrong and prepare for the worst. And we always try to be proactive. Um, we also try to get our certification under the ACN for CCR and critical care nurse. And that also provides you a lot of information and more rationale and helps you with provide a better care. Uh, we handle a lot of multi-drips, uh, managing a patient's blood pressure. On the plus side, I can always ask my coworker and they always have my, my back. And that's what I love working with uh, my fellow Navy nurses. Um, recently, I went to the called JEC, J-E-C-C, Joint and Route Critical Care course, where they train you how to um, a medevac patient from different um, like helo or fixed wing platform. And that's a challenge for, for in the Navy now if you have to medevac patient, especially if you have a mass casualty. But they really train you to be a better nurse and to, be, to function as a nurse in a different environment. So you have to be flexible. And I'm, I met a lot of outstanding nurses out there that they taught me a lot. They shared me, shared me their experience and they provided some good insights about how nursing in the Navy is. Helping people and uh, saving, saving them, providing a quality of life, it's, that's the best reward I can ever get. Over here, I love taking care of my patients and seeing them get better or seeing them um, at least achieve what they get, get them to their baseline, uh, it's very fulfilling. Especially when I see my patient stop by and say hi to us, um, it's, it brings, it's, no words can explain to it.